Yeah, they caught you. They caught you. All right, let's go. Oh, your name's Jai? Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to use my real name? Damn. You don't want to be doing it, baby? Shout out to doing it, baby. Go subscribe. Hang out no videos. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you know, this is your girl that finally original, whatever. Anyways, we're coming at you talking about some controversial topics tonight. All right, I like, I like my camera man. man. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> Cinnamon is the winner, man. I like mess with the camera. I wish we could make this bigger. Like, how we can zoom out? Ooh, look. I'm sorry, we're putting this on pause. I'm sorry, you guys. We're not going to put it on pause. We're going to record. We're going to take it out. But then it's like I'm not really close up, though. It, it shows more in my body. It makes me look fatter. <laughs> That's how I don't want it. I was I don't look as big as you. You ain't got no neck. That's why. And my shirt's so white so it fades into the background. Oh my god, I look so fat. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I look horrible. Oh shit, they should have done it. See that I'm the one you love to hate. I'm tired of letting you treat me this way. Been a long time since I talked to y'all. Actually, not really. Anyway, this is my girl Jai. Hey, hit her up at Dooney Baby on YouTube. Look up, you know. <laughs> I ain't got no videos, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Big dog, we get there. I don't have a picture of nothing, but we yeah. got point one and point two. Point one is going on my page. Point two, you have to tune in to hers. To see. Oh yeah. And we got my girl Mel coming in in a couple of minutes. She, you know, she getting a little head on. But anyways. With that being said, today's topics are interracial dating. Interracial. <laughs> you know what I mean, girl. Stop playing. Hold on. <laughs> Double standards and letting go. Is that your nervous laughter? I don't have a nervous laughter. laughter. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's my nervous laughter? Like that. Is that it? Kind of like that. Why am I nervous? <laughs> You're a nervous person. You know what I mean. That's just my be take one. <laughs> Interracial dating. I have never personally experienced it. But my girl Jay over here, come on, girl, come with the story. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> say you're better than that. Like, we don't talk like this when we just be chilling. Yeah, like, you gotta get this to come. Girl, you know I never dated nobody outside of my race. Well, what you do? Come on, let's talk about you. I have dated um one person outside of my race, and I've also dated a mixed person. <laughs> and a person. Shout out to the male. We dated the same person. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> anyway, that's the last part. The last part. I am. So, you know, I had to teach him how to kiss. Like <laughs> mediocre. I had to teach him how to kiss. The people I hang around do not reflect the person I am. Anyway, and I really hope that um being mixed is not mean that you're like. Five minute person, oh my god, I didn't have sex with him. He wanted to have sex with me, but I didn't yeah, have sex with him. Totally Thank the Lord. It was I'm a virgin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I just want to put that out there. <laughs> <That's shit. laughs> I'm, don't don't look at me like that. Anyway, back to interracial saying? dating. I'm not I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Personally, <laughs> um I am attracted to white people. I can't help it. I like white girls. That's just my preference. I like white girls. I have ah. nothing against black girls. I love black girls too, but you know, I have a preference for white girls. You know, <laughs> they're pink areolas. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jai on a regular basis. I see that on a TV show. I see that on a TV show. You know the um, T Pain cartoon? I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, come on, cartoon. You know the T Pain cartoon? Mm-hmm. The white guy, he was like, you with that pink areola. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What are your takes on interracial dating? Like, um, I feel like, hey, the interracial dating, like the marriages and stuff, that's up. I mean, for, by all means, go ahead, do what you want to do. This is not like 1920s America. An interracial dating is, I mean, although it's not liked by a lot of people, it's, I mean, it's here. It's not yeah. going anywhere. It's just like being gay. Yeah. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. So, hey. Interracial dating is a norm in my family, you know. My brother has married a white girl and two kids. My mom is always accepted. It's always that's something that I grew up as knowing as normal because that's all I saw was from my, my brother. He only dated white girls. So I thought that was normal, you know. I never really saw my mom date I seen her date guys, it just came and go, but nobody the only person that I saw with a real relationship was my brother and he dated white girls. So it was just kinda normal. 
when it came to interracial dating. And I didn't even think nothing of it. Oh, I'm dating a white girl. It wasn't like, oh, I'm dating a white girl. This is like, oh, I have a girlfriend. That was the big thing. Oh, my God, I have a girlfriend. Not the fact that she was white. And that's like an after talk. You, yeah. You think, oh, my God, my first girlfriend. You're not thinking, oh, my gosh, I have a white girl. The funny thing is, her family freaked out when they found out she was dating me because I was black. Not the fact that they didn't know she was gay. They didn't, that wasn't a problem. Not that she lied or anything like that. Because the fact that she was dating me and I was black. And I'm like, damn, you know, that was my first encounter with racism. Like that, you know, because I've always been around white people. I've never been treated differently as a black person around white people until that, that was my first encounter. And it it has really affected me, you know. And plus, going into going to HBCU, like that has really, you know, tainted my mind too. I, you know, it's a good thing to go to HBCUs because you, you know, you get your heritage, you be around your people, you know, the black people, you know. But the classes, they don't filter nothing. They tell you how it is. They tell you what exactly we're all on them books and what happened when you came over here in slavery. And it just it makes you have some kind of hate for white people. And I love yeah. white people, and it just. And it a just made me like, yeah, like a small part of me just like really just don't like them because, you know, I go to HBCU and they, and they teach I you think, about this stuff and they give it to you raw. And I just was like, oh my God, I cannot believe they did, me, did this to me. And I come from a small town and <clears throat> the white people there are friendly, you know, they're like, hey, how you doing? And I'm just looking at them like evil, like you bitch. Like, oh my God, your ancestors, there's so much to my ancestors. Like when I see them, <laughs> I roll my eyes at them and I'm just so evil to them. <clears throat> and I have to think about that, like you know, this, this person didn't Story do anything to me. To me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, this I person can't. didn't do anything to me. You know, I have to calm down. You know, that's not how I was raised. I didn't. I wasn't raised to be so hateful. It's a hate of person because of their skin color. I'm just doing them what they've done to me. It's like I need to let go of this burden. You know, I don't need to hate them because they're right. white. You know, how you doing? Hey, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, Sally. You know, Betty. You know, hey, Betty. <laughs> you know, how y'all doing? You know. <laughs> I don't need to hate you just because you white because I grew up with y'all and then it's like coming to HBCU it's like you lose I lost I'm not gonna lie, I lost myself coming here because I was just so immersed in the black culture and then I just was like oh my god the white people are evil blah 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 but and then when I go home it's like they're so nice and like hi and I'm like like, (laughs) and so that's that's a struggle that I am struggling with it's just you know not all white people are like that, you know. I have to learn from right. this and move on and teach my children better. You know, I don't need to take it out on them because they took it out on my race. I don't need to be reciprocating that hate and that anger, you know. I need to just let that go. <laughs> you out of breath yet? <laughs> yeah, girl. Oh, I never really did that. You know, I went to a school that was predominantly white and Asian. So, you know, growing up, like, it was like we was a melting pot, you know. Me too. Like, that was, you know, that's just what it was. And I came here and I was just, <clears throat> it was just everybody was black. Yeah. Maybe like 2% of our students are black. I mean, all white. Yeah. Something like that. Don't forget the um, 5% of the Um, Don't I, went to, <laughs> I went to a school that was basically a melting pot. We had whites, blacks, Asians, you know, everything or whatever going on up in there. I don't think we ever, I don't think we, had, we didn't have that many Hispanics, but you know, everything else is pretty much, you know, equivalent. So, I never really, I mean, I've experienced racism because where I was, it was a small, you know, we live in the South. Of course, there's still racism and stuff or whatever. But, I mean, it was like a clique of us. Like, we all chilled together. Like, you know, like, oh, yeah, you Asian or whatever, but girl, you down. You know, we cool with you and stuff like that, you know. It never was, oh, the Asians are over here and the African Americans are over here and the white people are over there. I mean... Of course, there are those ignorant people who are still racist because that's what their parents taught them. And I'm not going to lie. My mom is well, she's kind of racist, you know. You know how best friends happen to be white. Tell me how I write that. Whenever I got here, it was just like a whole bunch of black people. And I was just, I don't know. It was I was, I was, bored. It was almost scary, you know. Because I like I never had to deal with just like all black people all the time. Across the people, that, mm, my nerves was bad. But, um... I don't know. I, I, how do you feel about interracial dating? Of course, I don't mind it because I've experienced it, and I <clears throat> I want to raise some kids that you know don't really look at you for the skin color. Melanie, close the fucking door. We're gonna be talking that loud. <laughs> anyway, let's start this. Somewhere. Interrupting her five minutes of fame. But anyway, when it comes to interracial dating, I don't have a problem with it because I like white people. You know. I see that I'm the one you love to. 